hello, welcome back to The Metal Hunter. My name is Luke. This is episode four, part two, the vinyl edition. So on the first one, I spoke about a couple of CDs in my collection of Doom. I gotta sing the Doom song now. Doom, 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 Doom. And stoner and sludge bands that I thought that you guys would really, really appreciate. So I thought I'd do a second part and uh, go through a bit of my vinyl collection. I've got probably about 1500 records over there, so I might as well share some of that stuff with you. Now, because I forget everything, I've written most of this down. So if it looks like I'm looking off into the distance, it means that I'm just reading something. So just like the first video, this isn't like a definitive top 10 doom bands of all time. You know, obviously if you're into metal and you know about Black Sabbath, you know that they're the first doom slash metal band ever. And if you don't know who they are, then you're probably on the wrong channel. See you later. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to go through some really, really cool Doom records that I own and hopefully you guys will find some new music and um, we can all live happily ever after. So first up, I'm going to be talking about I Hate God. I Hate God are an influential New Orleans-based sludge slash doom metal band who have released some of the heaviest and most misanthropic sludge albums of all time. The band include members who have gone off to join such bands as Down, Superjoint Ritual, Crowbar, and Soylent Green. Vocalist Mike Williams sings about some of the darkest, most miserable subjects known to man, and his voice matches that misery. I would say that you want to check out track 12 of this album, Anxiety Hangover. in 1996 on Century Media Records and I Hate God are one of those bands much like Neurosis that I spoke about in the in the last video they've influenced countless countless bands like so many so many bands in, influence my own band influence uh, Mike Williams has influenced the way that I sing any doom band out there will will say I Hate God are one of the fucking forefathers of this shit especially the New Orleans styled sludge next up I'm going to be talking about a band called Black Cobra now they're a two piece LA based doom slash sludge band that started back in 2001 they have a driving pummeling sound, uh, less about groove and more about punishing rhythms. They sing about hopelessness, despair and chaos, which is kind of perfect for the style of music that they play. Their 2011 album Invernal is the album that I'm going to be talking about. It's an absolutely stomping success in sludge metal and the fucking album cover is sick. Uh, it was released on Southern Lord Records and I would suggest to check out the song The Crimson Blade. It's heavy as fuck. <laughs> band that I'm going to be talking about is closer to the more traditional kind of metal stuff, but they are still considered as kind of like an epic doom band. This band is called Grand Magus. Now, I've been listening to Grand Magus for quite a few years. They play epic doom slash traditional metal. They incorporate epic uplifting riffs with the vocalist Fox's huge soulful voice. These guys sing about paganism, strength, and death. Another perfect entry-level band and completely underrated within the metal and doom community. I would suggest the track Valhalla Rising from their 2012 nuclear blast released record called The Hunt. album is fucking cool. The gatefold is sick. There they are being all Swedish and shit. Fuck yeah. Check it out. Speaking of being all epic and shit and the hunt, let's talk about a band called Chemist. Chemist came out of nowhere and floored me. 
Like I had no idea who they were. And then the album Hunted came out in 2016. Just fucking knocked me on my ass. Riff laden, almost uplifting epic doom metal. Well produced, well written and well executed. Their vocalist is a bit of a, a topic of contention. Mainly because of the melody that he brings forward. Which is usually not something that you think of when you think of doom or listen to doom. But I actually think that he matches the musical landscape perfectly. Every time I listen to them, I envision myself running into battle against orcs, goblins and dragons. And their 2016 album, Hunted, is absolutely fucking awesome. It was my first introduction to them. And it was released on the amazing 20 bucks spin label i fucking love this label they're much like relapse records where they just know how to sign a really really sick band and they also know how to look back into the history of metal and maybe tip their hat to the old guard its artwork is enthralling and it's definitely meant to be viewed on vinyl or a massive fucking flag or poster or something like that because the whole thing is absolutely fucking beautiful I would recommend that you check out track four of this album. It's called Beyond the Door. It incorporates huge sorrowful riffs and it matches with amazingly uplifting vocals. Doom is not all about being uplifted and being supported and being like feeling good. It's called Doom for a reason. Now this band uh, I found on a whim. A friend of mine was selling off some of his record collection and I decided to buy a couple of couple of albums. A band I had no idea about. I just liked the album cover. They're called Monarch. Now they're French. They're depressively slow doom sludge drone these guys and girl female vocalist are claustrophobic heavy and almost unrelenting vocalist euro girl sounds like she's screaming at you from the upside down world in stranger things absolutely crushing absolutely disgusting actually can't suggest a song on this album because it's all one immersive piece of art as you can see by the album artwork it is fucking beautiful Absolutely beautiful. So it's only listed as three songs on here. The first song goes for 12 minutes. That's like a really melodic interlude. Uh, and then the last uh, uh, song goes for 19 minutes and it's called Black Comes the Sun. I definitely can't recommend anything off this album. Just go out and buy the fucking whole thing because it's absolutely amazing. All right, now that I've sworn at you enough, let's get uh, a little bit sunny. Now, Torch are definitely a sunnier band. They're basically what I would imagine if grunge started now <laughs> and in California, that's what Torch would be. I like to refer to them as stoner pop. Soothing melodic vocals over overdriven, sludgy, grungy riffs. I've been listening to these guys since their album Meanderthal in 2008. But the album that I'm talking about today is the 2015 Relapse Records released album called Restarter. Uh, it's an amazing album, great gatefold kind of shit in there. And it's another amazing band to kind of dip your toe into the doom stoner genre. It has an amazing full sound. The mixing and mastering was done by Kurt Ballou, of whom I am a massive fan. I would definitely suggest checking out the song Loose Men, which is track four on this album. Uh, it's really sunny and warm, and it basically feels like you're rolling through California, looking to score some green and a 12 pack of PBRs. So check it out.
I can't do a doom list without mentioning at least one band from this guy. The thing about metal is that it attracts certain characters and there are characters within metal that just ooze the metal lifestyle. You think about Ozzy, you think about Lemmy, you think about James Hetfield before he found God. And then there's Matt Pike. He's literally doom and metal personified. Ben Sleep broke up in 1998 and Matt decided he wasn't done punishing the planet with his riff stick. So he got together another three piece, took out the helm of vocals, put out some of the best doom sludge stoner records of all time. The album that I'm going to be talking about, I know that everyone's going to guess it. Snakes for the Divine. That is the most metal fucking cover you'll ever see. Look at that shit. And the back is even fucking metal as shit too. And in the gatefold is metal. Look at that fucking awesomeness. Ah, what can be said about this album? It's a bastard of a record. A stepfather beating a, a redheaded child kind of shit. Seriously, if you can't grow a beard, put this album on, put it on 11, put your face near the speaker, and by track two, which is Frost Hammer, you will have a glorious big Viking beard. Thing certain in life is that High on Fire will always tour and Matt Pike will never, ever, ever wear a shirt on stage. Another thing that I can guarantee is that the track Frost Hammer that I'm recommending to you is going to make you headbang until your skull falls out of the, your skin, basically. I think that I've wasted enough of your time. You guys have probably got work to do or you're probably procrastinating from some final or homework or you're avoiding your wife or boyfriend or your husband or kids or whatever. But I've still got two more records to talk about. Uh, let's talk about Red Fang. I love Red Fang. Now, they have some of the most, the greatest music videos of all time. Like seriously, the best. I always look forward to their music videos. This band is literally the smell of stale beer, bong water, and four day old nachos. And that's just the way that we like them. Another amazing band on Relapse Records roster, gritty loose riffs over swinging drums and melodic, not wussy vocals. Uh, I would recommend the track Blood Like Cream, mainly because the video is fucking amazing, but also the song rips. off the 2013 Relapse Records released album, Whales and Leeches. All right, this is one of my favorite bands. It's one of my favorite albums. I cannot talk about Doom without talking about Doom Riders. I mean, it's in the fucking name. The album that I'm gonna talk about is called Darkness Come Alive. It came out in 2009 on Death Wish Records. The singer slash guitarist is Nate Newton from Converge. I'm a huge Converge fan, which is kind of weird because I don't, I don't know how I actually found this band. I don't remember. I have no memory of it. It's just feel, I just feel like they've always been in my life. I might have even been just trawling the uh, Death Wish Records website, which is just something that I do when I'm trying to find new bands. I was lucky enough to see them in 2011 in Newcastle uh, with about 20 or 30 people. Now, Newcastle is about 30 minutes that way from me, so I was really, really lucky to to catch them pretty close to my hometown. I sang every word at the top of my lungs. I basically was the only person other than one of my good friends who was singing all the words, and I even got to meet Nate straight after the show. I basically just geeked out at, at him about Bolt Thrower because he was wearing a Bolt Thrower t-shirt. It was fucking amazing. This Boston-based sludge metal band have the ability to bring powerful and driving riffs that rumble under Nate's vocals. His vocals remind me of Danzig, and I fucking love Danzig as I've fucking mentioned. Seriously, if you don't own this album in some form, oh yeah, I've got it on vinyl too. This is like, a, this was a white whale for me. I searched everywhere. I ended up getting it for about 50 bucks. So I was happy. It was a first press death wish and it's fucking awesome. I would say that you want to check out the whole album. Don't be a fuckwit. Just listen to the whole thing. Now, but seriously, if you want to check out Come Alive, that's probably one of my favorite songs of all time.
check out Lions, you can check out... But basically, from start to finish, this album is perfect to me. Uh, some people might think that they're not really a Doom band, but I actually think that they take a lot from Doom. It's almost like they're a Doom skate band. So um, the kids that grew up on like punk bands and Black Sabbath and, you know, maybe got into the Melvins and stuff like that and Danzig and kind of the, the snotty punk kids that kind of liked metal and the metal kids that kind of accepted a bit of punk. That's what I think Doom Riders is. And I think that's perfect when, um, you know, a few different styles come together. So that's the end of my list. Thanks a lot for listening to me. Absolutely fucking ramble about this shit. So what did you think of my list? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you drop me any comments about Doom bands that you think that I should check out that maybe I haven't listed. I've probably heard them, but I, I don't know. I can only I can only put so many fucking, um, I can only put so many bands in these videos. So uh, yeah, sue me, whatever. Make sure that you subscribe. Don't be a dick. Please, please leave me comments because it gets really lonely on the internet. And I have been Luke from The Metal Hunter. I'll see you through the week. Bye.